Welcome everyone to this fireside chat session. At this session, we will introduce you to local roaming breakout, an announcement we made with uh, Bix here in the room. So let's kick it off with a round of introductions and I'm gonna start with you, Same. Uh, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Sami Nagib. I lead the global go-to-market strategy and business development for AWS and the Telco Network space. So my team work with the industry ecosystem across CSPs, uh, ISVs, and partners who build solutions on AWS. And our goal is to help mobile operators transform the way they build and operate mobile networks uh, by leveraging AWS Cloud. Good to be here. Thank you, Sami, for that introduction. And I'm going to move next to you. Uh, Evgen, please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Evgen, um, and I'm part of the Bix team. Um, I am uh, with Bix already for a good decade. Um, I started as a product manager for the data and connectivity products, and then later on moved towards the software-defined networking trend, automation, self-service, and that type of things. Right now, I'm having a role of the head of product digitalization and cloud adoption, which basically means we're trying to help our customers with, their, with making work with Bix easier, and at the same time, we try to cloud adopt way of working at Bix, which means that we are trying to get into the total addressable markets that we were not able to do it in a traditional way. And at the same time, find it in a cost efficient way, thanks to the cloud model that allows that. That's about my role. Thank you, Ifgen. And I'm going to move to you next. Uh, Thank Kenneth, you, Catherine. You. So I'm really excited to, to participate in this expert uh, panel. So my name is Kenneth Hardat. I lead the telco strategy within uh, Bix. And what really drives me is the telco transformation to an all digital uh, techco. Uh, so us telco, we're all transforming our assets into all digital. And uh, by doing this, we're trying to unlock new value into new ecosystems. So really exciting times for us and happy to be here. Thank you, Kenneth, and I'm very excited to have you all here. My name is Katrien van Aken. I am the Global Account Lead for Proximus, and Bix is part of the Proximus Group. Um, I have a background in telco over 20 years. Um, what makes me excited about what is happening in the industry is the convergence that we see happening across cloud, telecommunications, and now pivoting into Gen AI. But let's kick it off here. I would like to hear more about, obviously, that exciting announcement that you made eh, in January on local breakout uh, together with AWS. Um, but before that, I would like to start maybe um, with a brief introduction from your side, uh, Yevgen, what, how the journey has been together between Bix and AWS. If you can give us a bit of an overview of the story there, because we have a long-standing relationship with you. Exactly. Not sure it's going to be a brief answer, but let me get you through that. So, indeed, our story started back in 2017 uh, based on the customer demand. Basically, a request, how can you connect us to the AWS? And then, okay, what does it mean? So, and we basically kicked off our relationship, right, um, to connect our products with the products of AWS. Uh, I must say it was kind of an ad hoc reaction, right? It was not a strategy or a plan. And things stayed still quite fragmented. In 2018, back uh, that year, we already formalized more relationships with um, AWS in terms of the partnership for the APN, being an AWS Direct Connect partner, and also moved towards the Amazon Connect partnership more on the buy-in side. Uh, that's how it started. Maybe a bit more about Bix because uh, just what it is, what the company is doing. We operate on the global telco and communication market. We provide different variety of services for the last 20 years, starting from a global voice, messaging, um, roaming, IoT, cloud communication number in business. And um, obviously, uh, what we try to do, we, we help societies to grow in a way uh, uh, that they connect different type of things. In the past, it was a story where we used to provide services specifically for the MNO and telco market. These days, it's becoming connectivity between things and, and society. So that's what our services are doing. With that type of mission, obviously, I'm uh, getting more into the reality of today. Uh, we, we, we have a natural fit with AWS values. Because uh, in AWS, typically, there are, I can highlight, three different dimensions that really uh, stand out. It's obviously the global infrastructure, 
that is allowing you uh, an access to the different variety of services that are that are there. The second pillar is the on-demand service model, where simply you can test the waters before jumping into it. And also the addressable market, right? So clearly the, the enterprises, SMEs and, and big enterprises and even industries are moving into the cloud. And if you want to be there, well, you 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 and you want to operate with them, you have to be there. Right? So that that that's part of that element. Bix also has a good history of 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 a builder, I would say. So for the good twenty years, we've been uh, developing uh, cutting edge uh, solutions and platforms. Um, uh, the telco platforms, packet gateway, IoT, roaming platforms. That's all self-developed things and also quite unique for what we are doing as a business. And what we decided to do during the last few years was to rethink the way we approach the cloud, right? So at some point we were like staying, I wouldn't say far from the cloud, but we didn't really get how to do it. So, and now we try to embrace the cloud for multiple reasons. So those three obvious reasons on on-demand and infrastructure that I mentioned the clear customer demand and obviously the competition landscape, right? So they are not smoking around the corner. They are there. They are providing, uh, they are part of the game and it's great to have that type of competition because it, it, it puts you in shape to also be even better and compete with the equal players. Following the story of the, 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 of the builder profile of, of, uh, of Bix, We've, um, we're coming back maybe to 2023, 2024, what we are doing just recently, right? So 23, we were able to test our quite important platforms, SBC and Packet Gateway in the public cloud of AWS with good success. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a very interesting experiment and achievement that we have made. And 24, we try to continue that storyline with our services, because these are the, 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 the core uh, platforms, but also the service that we try to do, we need to test it end to end. So that's clearly the focus we're trying to do. And uh, the other thing I mentioned already briefly, we restructured internally. So we, we had a team that was kind of spread all over the organization. Now we consolidated that to streamline and support overall the organization of Bix towards the cloud adoption that's been training or support to the product manager or to the different value streams engineering to make sure that have they have the right information and we have the right uh, people from AWS that support them in that type of direction. And obviously, as equal as technical, the commercial part, uh, we were not really active on APN and, and AWS Marketplace. That's something that we're changing as well. So now uh, we already whitelisted quite some offerings and we will continue going to the ecosystem, trying to make sure that the go-to-market is also covered and we are part of that ecosystem there. I want to also emphasize and thank you for the last six, eight months of the work that we were doing together. That's really a boost of relationships, I would say. We get a, a, an enormous amount of learning and support. Or AWS is obviously not a small organization. It has its own ways and understanding how to get there. We, we didn't have it. Now we have it. We really know how to move forward. So thank you very much for your support on that. Welcome. Thank you for that overview. So I indeed think it has been a great journey uh, in the last eight, nine months. I think we moved away from that ad hoc interaction with you more towards a very streamlined and organized uh, way of, of working together, but also to look more at your bigger uh, business objective and align to that, yeah, working back from, from your strategic objectives um, and underlining that with how we work and what elements that, that is using uh, in AWS itself. Now, I want to move towards the specific topic we are discussing here today for the audience uh, local breakout. Bix made a big announcement uh, in January around this. And the reactions that we get is that it's quite a pivotal game changer in the market. So I want to dive deeper with you, Kenneth, on what was announced exactly and how have we been working on this together? Yeah, thank you, Catherine. So indeed, the announcement is very strategic uh, to Bix because it enables various new generation use cases for both telco operators, but also the vertical industries. And uh, by enabling uh, that functionality, we will propel them into a digital AI future. We're very excited about that. So we're talking about next generation use cases covering 
augmented reality applications, uh, self-driving vehicles, but also autonomous drones. So obviously we're very excited about that. And actually how we're doing it, we're basically transforming roaming. We're transforming roaming by bringing the application content closer to the user. So uh, that's what we did successfully. So we started with a joint initiative mm. with AWS and also uh, SK Telecom. And there we really started focusing, okay, how can we bring the content as close as possible to the uh, user? And this was really a, a, f a fantastic achievement, uh, I can say, uh, together with uh, both AWS and uh, SK Telecom. Uh, what was also really important um, was the, the subscriber experience. And this is something that we didn't uh, focus on uh, in, in, in the early uh, testing uh, phase, uh, meaning uh, by moving the content closer to the subscriber, we have also drastically improved subscriber uh, human experience. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, roamers were suddenly able to, to have their web content, web pages, uh, loading five times quicker compared mm -hmm. to the general uh, basis. So this was really important, uh, both for ourselves, but also for the SK Telecom uh, uh, subscribers. Uh, seeing those very successful results, we immediately started looking at the bigger picture. Uh, how can we enable this on a global scale? How can we bring this feature to everyone worldwide, all the travelers worldwide? And that's where we, we started thinking about uh, scaling. And that's where we think AWS is the right partner, the right partner who can help us to transform uh, the telco industry. Uh, so of course, we're uh, very excited uh, about that. And um, um, also very excited about ramping up the solution on a very short uh, time frame. And there's more to come as well in the future. Yes, indeed, indeed. So we, I think we kicked this off at DTW. Eh? That's not that long ago. Um, so I want to give a bit now the global perspective uh, from you, uh, Same. Can you give us a bit uh, an overview of what you see happening in the telco industry? I see we see this move that goes beyond just connectivity services at a global scale and what you are doing in your role, in your global role in that domain. And then we'll bring it next to what we are doing uh, in that area to accelerate the go-to-market with BIGS. Sure, Katrin. So, Katrin, as you know, AWS has been, uh, since we invented cloud, really, uh, we have been helping ITs and, and enterprises to transform their ITs, and we have been democratizing innovation through the cloud benefits, uh, the access to the latest technologies, the access to capacity on demand, the agility. Uh, the, the wide ar array of cloud services that enable developers to build and uh, automate and, and scale. Uh, and of course, through the global footprint. Telcos or CSPs have been doing the same on their IT side, but they haven't been doing really much in the past on the network side. And this was primarily because of certain constraints. First, and, and this is all before 5G. Before 5G, the architecture that were there were not really that cloud friendly. But also telcos rely on certain uh, ecosystem players, network equipment providers, who used to provide solutions that were not really cloud friendly and, and certainly not cloud native. What we are seeing and what we started to see since 5G is that 5G is creating a new paradigm. It's, it's really changing the picture. First, because 5G is built on standards, the 3GP standard that emulate the service-oriented architecture and encourage the network equipment providers to build solutions that are cloud native. And we are seeing many of, uh, of the ecosystem players going in that direction. Of course, they, ver they vary in their degree of maturity. Uh, some of them are more uh, cloud native than others, but overall the trend is positive. So first we have the industry that is now uh, believing that cloud is the way to build a solution. But the other big thing that we have, we as AWS have been doing over the last few years is we have been focused on how we can make AWS the best place to run uh, network workloads. Uh, so we have been doing this through multiple fronts, through uh, having the technical capabilities that network might need. Network have very specific requirements, uh, with, uh, whether it's performance, functionality, and so on but also through building the right commercial models mm -hmm. that align with network workloads and the right operational models and, and so on. So what we have been so seeing is over the last few years and, and this year at MWC, we are seeing a lot of announcement with many of AWS customers who are really starting to leverage the cloud to build networks that are more agile, that allow them to innovate. So, so what does it mean for, for CSPs? It means that as they build 5G, they have, they have primarily two main objectives. 
First, they want to build networks that are more efficient than before, mm -hmm. that they can reduce their overall TCO. So this is where, by bringing the cloud and making it the best place to run network workloads, they can reduce their TCO, leverage automation, and all of the cloud uh, benefits. But second, by building on AWS, they create a cloud stack that they can use not only for the network, but they can bring our large ecosystem of application providers, and then together they can build new use cases that they can take to their enterprise customers. So this is very important for them to increase their top line and create new revenue streams. We are also seeing our partners, uh, our ISVs, our independent software vendors, and partners in general innovating, not only by becoming cloud native, but many of them are actually going a step ahead and creating SaaS solutions and innovating. And this is precisely what Bix is doing. Yeah. What Bix is doing is they are leveraging the, the cloud platform and not only creating solutions that could help the customer, but they are even creating SaaS solutions that the customer can go and quickly deploy and scale. So our work with Bix align very well with what we are seeing uh, uh, in the industry. And, and we, are, we are very excited to work with uh, partners who are as visionary and for a looking like Bix. Yeah, I want to hear a couple more points from your uh, point of view, Same, on what specifically are we doing, are we going to do here with the local breakout in terms of go to market with them? And maybe also it would be good to emphasize what you think is unique about working with Bix. Sure, well, I think the, the first thing we are doing, or the first thing we did here was work together to build the right solutions that deliver value to the, to the customer. I think the next step should be to scale this to uh, uh, customers around the globe. Uh, you talked about taking this to CSPs, and, and many CSPs, especially the CSPs who cannot afford to go and build the solution every time for themselves, can leverage the fact that Bix can deliver this at, at a scale. And that's something we have been talking to customers about. Like we talk to CSPs in general around their overall network and IT transformation, and many of them are interested in the use case. And we tell them, look, you can work with uh, uh, partners like Bix who can come and deliver this to you with very short lead time. So this is very interesting. So I think the first thing is, is scaling it. The second thing is continuously at AWS, we like to work with our partners to create more efficient and optimal solution. So the, the optimization doesn't stop. There are many cloud levers that we can uh, help Bix to use, like for example, moving to our Graviton uh, ARM-based instances, which can even reduce their cost further and we can pass this down to the customer. So continuing on improving and optimizing the solution is something we, we will definitely work on. The third, uh, uh, the third area is we believe that roaming uh, optimization is one use case, but there are other use cases that we can work with Bix uh, on. Like we, when you look at what is really hot in the industry right now, look at the API uh, uh, exposure, monetizing APIs. It's, it's a very important topic for CSPs because like, like we said, CSPs want to create new revenue streams and monetize the network they build. And that's why also they work with AWS to build it. This is an area where uh, with big assets, uh, I think we can we can look at innovating in this space. Uh, but but your question about why it's good to work with Bix, like like I mentioned, it is it is really important for us at AWS to work with partners that have the right vision in terms of creating cloud native solution. Obviously, creating SaaS solution is 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 really uh, uh, where we want them to be because if. Like when you lift and shift solution to AWS, yeah, you, you get some benefits, but you don't get the full benefit. You mm -hmm. get the full benefits when you work with partners who build solutions natively, who can leverage the native services, integrate with our observability, automation, and whatnot. And this is what Bix is doing. So we like to work with you guys. Uh, they're doing a great job, and we, we are happy to be, uh, to be your partners, and we'll continue on this journey together. So thanks, Sami, for that. Um, I want to wrap up our fireside chat and I want to do a round of final thoughts that you want to share uh, on what comes next. And I'll start with you, Yifian. Yeah, so thank you for good words. <laughs> uh, that's indeed a pleasure to work with AWS and learn as well because it's a very interesting and fun part, I must say, as well, right? So when you get something new, it's very important. Um, we touched indeed the, the local room in Breakout. What is next? The next thing is actually we need to look into the picture end to end, right? You, you're saying cloud native, and that's obviously something where we're trying to get to. Uh, and we need to look, we were been doing things for 20 years in a specific way, right? So, and we need to think and act 
end-to-end, -end, right? So right now what we're interested in doing, and we touched as well the networking storyline over here, is that we are not uh, trying to do the Big Bang, because indeed uh, lift and shift and Big Bang, it's not always a success for multiple reasons. We try to do the experiments. We actually change a bit the way of working. We implement small experiments. We take the technology, we see how it can fit into our variety of work and that's actually again another thanks to the teams of uh, of AWS that are supporting our guys in making sure that we get get there and that's important because the way for instance we were doing network in the past is not the way you do network today right you how would you do lift and shift if you don't have labeling on MPLS it just doesn't exist so you can't really lift and shift you have to reinvent it and that's the type of the right uh, words I get from my team that are part of those experiments that they say I really we redesign the services for the cloud and that's really important they get to that right uh, so the future is there and we will continue doing the experiments right now just basically I think a couple of days ago uh, we finished the C1 experiment which is a very promising and interesting evolution of uh, networking technology uh, I also was, I mean, it was really amazing to hear from AWS team that, guys, what you're trying to do with Sivan, no, nobody in the world was trying to do. So we are also very excited to, to look at your use cases and scale that you're trying to bring. So obviously we want to evolve on that. We want right now to take those uh, results of the experiment and bring it into the product, right? So how products would be able to benefit from that and which type of use cases will be able to actually productize and do the POC on that, right? That's an important step. And another evolution that I can say where I want us to be in is the, evol the, the further evolution of C1. We want to also co-develop what the service should look like, a service should look like from AWS perspective, right? Because it's also not a, a stable block that will change. It's not a monolith. We want to be part of that and evolve together. So this is something for 2024 as the roundup. Thank you, Yevgen. So to complement on what you just said and also uh, following up on uh, Same, so uh, the telcos, they have very important assets and uh, we are all trying to di digitalize our assets. So this is extremely important and this is exactly where we can create new value into new ecosystems. Uh, so that's extremely important and it's, like, it's very important that we, we, uh, we move towards this direction and we, we use the digitalized assets of the telco operators to create value and to uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, etc. Et so very exciting times and uh, we're very looking forward to, uh, to, to entering this new era. Thank you. Sami, you want to share some final thoughts? I, I think the team covered well what is uh, ahead of us. Uh, I would like just to thank you. And uh, again, Catherine, thank you for, uh, for all the great work that you have done. And uh, I'm really excited to be uh, in, at MWC 2024, where we see a lot of customers realizing that cloud. And we, we, I think we are, we are happy of what we have done. We, customers are realizing that cloud is probably going to be the best place to run their network or close and enable innovation. So looking forward to continuing the journey with our industry partners. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, your vision. Um, I look forward to continuing the journey we started. Uh, and um, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm.